I would like to talk about these fellas. We've got a lot of these little holes. That's a big one. <laughs> and as we get towards the corner, we get bigger, bigger, and there's some small ones here. And these are what are considered to be cup marks. Now, I don't know much about cup marks. Antiquarians talk about cup marks. I don't think anyone knows exactly what the reason for cup marks, only that they are found in, in ancient places and on stone da down at the Sound, there's a promontory there and they have them cup marks on there and you get them all over the island. What the reason for them was, I don't know. My supposition, probably a load of nonsense, but is that they came, these would come from the same part of a place and there were a cartload maybe because they only seem to be found in this area so maybe this was a load that they brought in and they just put these ones here it might have had something to do with the hill i don't know uh, they're very regularly shaped stones it's possible they came from spanish head this the big long slates like this would um that were mostly quarried at a Spanish head in the slate quarry. Very long straight ones. The floors of the castle in Castle Russian were made out of those. They make a big long span. And I don't know, I have absolutely no uh, proof of this whatsoever, but they could have come from there because they're nice and even and straight. And they could have some connection with the sound, I don't know. I've known them since I was a child. We used to come up here on on uh, holidays, on evenings, and the, the whole families would come, mothers and all, never fathers, the mothers would come. We've got lots of photographs of us when we were kids, all lined up on the wall here. And these have always been something I associate with this, this just a little corner of Tinwald Hill. Lovely things. <laughs>